everyone, I trust you're all doing really well. I am Misty Gans, and today, wait, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? I can't talk right now. Can I call you back? Thank you. I'm sorry about that. I was just talking to someone. Today, we're going to talk about verbs in the past tense. Now, let's do a little recap. I'm sure you all know what a verb is. A verb is an action word. It is doing and it is telling. Now let's check out some verbs. To hug. Let's hug ourselves. To clap. Can you clap with me? And to swim. Now, the past tense means the action has already happened. It's not going to happen. It's not happening now. But it has already happened. Just as how I was on my phone. I'm no longer on my phone. I was talking on my phone. So we have this device right in front of our eyes. It's a time machine. Now, we don't only use time machines to go to the future, we also use time machines to go back to the past. So today, let's hop on our time machine and go back to the past. Let's read some sentences. Mummy baked cookies this morning. Now, this morning has already passed. It has already happened. So, she already baked cookies, it's in the past. I looked at a movie last night. Are you looking at a movie now? No, it happened last night, it's in the past. The time has already happened. The boys visited the zoo last weekend. Now let's look at the time last weekend. That means it has already happened. It's in the past. So we're going to talk about the verb to be in the past tense. I was playing. Remember when you talk about yourself, you say I. So we say I was. It's in the past. It has already happened. You were playing. He was playing. She was playing. It was playing. We were playing. They were playing. Now read it with me. I was playing. You were playing. He was playing. She was playing. It was playing, we were playing, they were playing. Now let's play a matching game. Let's read the words on the left. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Now let's read the words on the right. W E R were, W E S was. We have were again, was, were, was, and was. When we talk about ourselves in the past, we say I, hmm, I were. What's that? I was? Very good. I was. You. Let's match you with woo. Let's see if it's correct. Good. He was. When we talk about a girl, we say she. She was. It. Do you know the answer? It was. We. Shout out the answer. We. 
Woo! And when we talk about the, we see the woo. Now let's try this next activity. You're going to choose was or woo and write it in the blank spaces. My father something very ill this morning. My father was very ill this morning or my father were very ill this morning. My father, he, he, when we talk about a man or a boy, we say he was. My father was very ill this morning. We something very bored yesterday. I'm sure some of you are really, really bored. We was very bored this yesterday or we were very bored yesterday. I'll give you two seconds to think. We were very bored yesterday. The pizza for lunch, something delicious. Mm, I love pizza. The pizza for lunch, hmm, was or were? It was very delicious. Ginger, my kitten, something scared. Hmm, was or were? Ginger, my kitten, was scared or ginger, my kitten, were scared? Let's see the answer. Ginger, my kitten, was scared. Let's give ourselves a pat on the back. You're doing really, really well. Just a few more. Choose the correct answer for each sentence. So you're going to choose either A or B. I something at school yesterday. Was or were? I was at school yesterday or I were at school yesterday. If your answer is was, then you are correct. Destiny something at the park on Sunday. Destiny was at the park on Sunday. Destiny were at the park on Sunday. Destiny was at the park on Sunday. There's something posters in the classroom. There was posters in the classroom or there were posters in the classroom. What's the answer? Was? Hmm, let's check. No, there were posters in the classroom. Number four, my bedroom something untidy. Whose bedroom is untidy? My bedroom was untidy or my bedroom were untidy? The answer is was. My bedroom was untidy. Just a couple more. You're doing really, really well. There's something on a trip last month. Y'all are super smart. I know y'all put they were. Let's see if it's correct. Wow, look at that. They were on a trip last month. You something very busy on Friday. You was very busy on Friday or you were very busy on Friday? The answer is you were very busy on Friday. Good job, guys. Now let's do a little bit of recap. Today we spoke about verbs in the past tense, specifically the verb to be. And what does past mean? That's it. Past means that it has already happened. Whether it was 15 minutes ago, this, morn this morning that has passed, last night, last week, or last year. And when we're talking about the verb to be in the past tense, we say, I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, and they were. Can you say it with me? Let's try. I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, and they were. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Please encourage your parents to visit learn.moe.gov.tt where they will find many, many ECCE primary, secondary activities and lessons. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you soon.